Hello folks and welcome back to Food and Drink Reviews here on my channel and welcome back to a little bit of a trend that we've got on this is like the uh, the Lambrini section so over the past couple of days we've been reviewing a few alcoholic beverages obviously Lambrini so to recap today is Sunday so Friday we reviewed uh, the original Lambrini yesterday which was Saturday we reviewed the truly peach flavoured Lambrini and today we've got another one to try the third flavour which you can see is so strawberry <coughs> also, excuse me I've got a bit of a cough now I love strawberry strawberry things I'm hoping that it's going to be nice. Uh, you got the the logo there, Lambrini. It's so strawberry. We need to get a little bit closer, actually. Again, this is sparkling, slightly sparkling fruit wine. Just like the truly peach flavour that we did yesterday. So it's fruit flavoured wine. Obviously strawberry because it says it down at the bottom. The fruity one. <coughs> Sorry. <coughs> Let's have a look at the back of the bottle. I don't know why I'm a bit speechless today. There we go, Lambrini so strawberry. Move my hand out of the way. Strawberry flavoured fruit wine. If I'm glass, just have a read of that. It says. Strawberry flavoured fruit wine with sugar and sweetener. Enjoy chilled. <coughs> well, this is chilled because it's been in the fridge all night. Because I bought it yesterday when I bought the peach flavoured one. And I've kept it in the fridge all night. And obviously, I'll put it back in the fridge when I finish with it. I'm just going to have one glass up to, for now. Um, just for the purpose of the review and then I'll put this back in the fridge and I'll save some so it's still nice and cool from being in the fridge I'm looking forward to trying it there's just a bit of information there like portion sizes there's nothing much to do now than uh, Apologise about my hair being such a mess. And yes, we've got big gym jams on. It's Sunday, so why not have a lazy Sunday afternoon, as the famous song goes. So here we are again then. Here's my limo glass. Champagne glass, champagne flute, whatever you want to call it. But I refer to it as a limo glass. Because my friend who's a limo driver gave me this glass. So, uh, it possibly came out, out of a limo as well, so um, to me it's my limo glass, so I'm just going to pop that to the side. Now to open the bottle, obviously there's a little black tab there, you can see, so I'm just you peel it. Oh, that's it. Peel the tab, peel that all the way around. Pick off the uh, wrapper on top, and there's your there's your uh, the top of the bottle. So again, like all Lambrini bottles, it's a screw top, so you can you have to worry about a cork. You can always reseal it. Uh, this was two ninety nine as well, by the way. It just says it up there. 
along with the peach flavoured one that was two ninety nine. The original was one eighty nine, but I'm guessing because these are flavoured, they're slightly more expensive. I've got a bit of snivels this month, well this afternoon. I don't know why. I think it's this weather. We don't know what it's doing. Right. One day it'll be warm, one day it'll be cloudy, then it'll be scorching hot, and knowing how look it'll be raining. to open that is. I can smell strawberry already. There we go. We'll just put the glass to one side in it. Put the top back on the bottle. Let's have a quick smell first. Oh yes, it does smell of strawberries. Quite a strong smell of strawberry actually. <coughs> so here is the drink. Again the camera's not actually portraying the colour very well. It's a lot darker in colour than it actually is on the camera. I don't know why that is. Um, I'm not too sure what kind of colour it is. That's a very bright red. Like a, a pinky red, but I uh, can't distinguish properly. Obviously, the camera it looks sort of orangey on the camera, doesn't it? So, not very, not very fizzy. Um, actually, there's hardly any um, bubbles on the glass at all. And it is supposed to be slightly sparkly, so. Uh, well, I guess I'm just going to have to have a taste and see what I think. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. <coughs> Very nice strawberry flavour there. Not too overpowering. And again it tastes like actual strawberries, not like an artificial sort of strawberry flavouring like you get in like a strawberry candy or something like that. Um, it is actually... It is as if someone blended up a load of strawberries and uh, added the juice. So that's nice. Actually tastes like real fresh strawberries. Uh, sparkly wise, uh, it is. It is slightly sparkly, but again, with it, like the other Lamborghinis, it just um, it just goes down so smoothly. It's, um, hasn't hardly got any fizz to it at all. It's a little bit fizzy when you first take a sip and then obviously when you swallow it it just goes down smoothly. So it's not overly sweet either, it's got a nice flavour to it. <coughs> Sorry, I have to excuse the coughing. Um, it's got a nice flavour to it, it's not overly sweet at all. Um, Volume wise, I actually forgot to check what the volume was. Uh, let's just bring the bottle back in quickly. Uh, I should say it on the back, shouldn't it? Five percent. Five percent volume. So it's. Excuse me. I've been up on camera there. So it's not as strong as the original, obviously the original Lamborghini was 7.5% 7 7 volume, so it was quite strong, <coughs> even though it didn't come across as it, uh, but after a couple of glasses it certainly did. Uh, obviously the peach one was 5%, this is 5%, I guess because of obviously the fruit 
flavourness in it that's uh, weakened it a little bit, but that's always good. Because, you know, it's Sunday afternoon, I don't want to start getting drunk. Um, obviously, I'm just having the one glass just for reviewing purposes. The, the rest will be going back in the fridge. I'll probably uh, save that for later on this week. Uh, or I might take the rest to South End with me because I'm off to South End on sea on Friday, so uh, you never know. Probably won't, I'll probably end up drinking it all before then. So to get in the car Friday morning and James was like, Oh, you said on your YouTube video you're bringing some Lamborghini. I hope you're going to let me try something. No, sorry mate, I drank it. Probably end up being the way, but uh, never mind, I'm sure I could buy another bottle. <coughs> so. Well, there's nothing really left for me to say about it, to be honest. Um, obviously, the, the consistency is nice, the flavour is nice, the, the scent is very nice. Obviously, if you smell it, um, ever so slight scent of strawberry, but then obviously when you when you drink it, you do get that real fresh zest zest of strawberry. So to conclude it, well, it's hard to put it through my scoring system. So the other two Lambrinis have actually had a 5 out of 5. This one, unfortunately, though, it, I'm going to have to give it a 4 because I think maybe the flavour could have been a little bit more powerful. And maybe it could have been a little bit more fizzy. It's very, very flat, this one. I know it says on the bottle it's slightly sparkling, um, but the the peach one was definitely the most fizzy one that, that I've had out of the three, and um, it was a very powerful flavour as well, but in a good way, it wasn't too overpowering, but I think this, yes it's got a nice taste, but it could just do with a little bit more flavouring to it. So I'm going to give it a fair 4 out of 5, you know, it's it's not the top, but it's not the bottom. So, yeah, but I've really enjoyed trying these Lambrinis. We're going to take a break now from alcoholic beverages, probably do a few non-alcoholic beverages, a few more food reviews, and then obviously on the rare occasion I'll see something else. Um, I may review something for you. In fact, I might review something for you in South End because my friend Mark actually owes me a bottle of Prosecco because of a bet that we had. Um, but I, I'm not going to talk about that because, um, you know, I don't want to encourage gambling really. Um, it's very rare that I actually do it. But um, yeah, I'm not going to discuss that. But uh, maybe I will review whatever bottle he buys, we'll have to see, because whenever Mark's around and I'm filming, he does have a tendency to act rather silly. Um, <coughs> he thinks he's funny, but um, when it comes to f recording for YouTube and he's prattling about um, doing impressions of one of our friends and saying silly things, turning everything I say into an innuendo or something. It can get pretty em embarrassing for YouTube. So uh, I will try and record something if I can. Uh, if I can get some time on my own for a couple of minutes. Or maybe I can convince him to actually join in with the review. Maybe he can try it and give his thoughts and opinions on it, what it tastes like. Um, but we'll have to see. We'll have to see. So thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Um, don't forget, um, this is purely for reviewing purposes only. So I'm not trying to set any kind of bad example by drinking a load of alcohol. Obviously, if you're not the legal age to drink, please don't do it. And if you are the legal age to drink, then please do drink responsibly. There will be... Um, message in the description down below um, just advising that you please do drink awarely but on that note I hope you've enjoyed it so give the video a thumbs up if you have 
feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and until the next video take care and i will bid you good day